Hello! So, this is just a quick video to show off another missile project thing I've been working on. And uh, this is easily the most advanced one that I've done yet. So I think you guys might think it's pretty interesting. So, what we have here is a set of four surface-to-air missiles and a quick-launch VLS. Um, this missile is a whole lot smarter than any other one I've made. It is top attack, and what it will do is they are guided by a ranger right here, which outputs the range, position, and velocity of the target, and they're tracked by lock on to entity via E2. Um, the range is used to calculate the top attack flight path, so dependent on the range to target, it will uh, calculate the time at which it will do its top attack flyover and that's done by as soon as the missile is launched um, a I think it's an RS latch or a D latch something like that it saves the last known distance to target calculates that and then inputs that into the delay and then you know the rest of the history the missile launches and it follows that flight path um, the position is obviously used for targeting data um, and then velocity is a pretty neat one. The, this is the first missile I've made that it has dynamic lead. So this is a missile that is both lock-on and is absolutely capable of hitting moving targets at pretty high speeds. Um, what it does is it takes the velocity to the target. And all it does is it multiplies it by negative one to make it negative, multiplies it by 0.75 to sort of reduce it. It's kind of a fine tuning sort of thing due to the um, aerodynamic flight path of this missile. Um, and then it just adds that to the um, uh, regular position outputted by the Ranger. So it's just adding an extra deviation based off the velocity to the target. And it's stupid accurate. Um, it works really, really well. And then it also has a proximity fuse system. Um, and the way that works is it subtracts a deviation from the world coordinates of the missile and the world coordinates of the target. Uh, once that deviation gets to below a set threshold, in this case it's 160, um, it will instantly detonate the warheads. So that's how the proximity fuse works. Um, this is set up in a four uh, cell VLS, so what's going to happen is uh, each one can be fired independently or they can be fired simultaneously or in groups. Um, start the launch process, key pressed. Um, after a two and a half second delay, a user will hit the button on the back of this missile. Um, it will disable the weld latches after it blows off this missile door. Um, the launch motor will shoot it up into the air, after that it detaches, guidance enables, and then 2.1 seconds after the guidance uh, has the missile slewing onto the target, it'll fire these flight motors, which are really powerful, to bring it up to some pretty insane speeds. Um, and then after that, the missile just closes into the target and destroys it. So let me show you guys that in action. So. This is the pretty basic rudimentary HUD I have set up on it now. All you do is you can see the ranger is looking wherever I'm looking. You just select a target, left click. Uh, the E2 will automatically lock on the center mass point of that prop and it will by no means deviate from it at all. It's always dead center. And that's it. All we have to do now is fire. So let me get that target moving a bit. Launch door shoots off, it's in the air, and then it's off on its way. Dead on. It's pretty damn cool. And then all we do to select another target is lock on to our next target. And after I get it moving a little bit, we fire. It's, it, 
out of all the missiles I've made, this is easily the only one where it's actually kind of practical. Um, the gate logic guidance computer missile that you guys remember might remember it used angular deviation for guidance and um, that struggled to just go in a straight line it was good at it but it couldn't hit a moving target um, whereas this missile is I mean this is a piece of cake so and then we got one more target let's get as much room to build up speed as we can Okay. And fire. So it kind of bumped into the stop there at the end, but you could see it, you know, correct its flight path. So last thing I'm going to do is we'll shoot down a helicopter. I might make a video in the future just showing how this works and how you can build your own, but it's there's a lot to it. Um, it's a whole lot simpler if you just want to build a single launcher. Um, the VLS is just extra complexity, and uh, plus it's kind of cool. There's our little collection of launch motors in a neat little pile. Then what we do, select our target and lock on. Uh, it's not really moving all that much, so it's kind of hard to show that it's moving. Anyway, and then this is missile four, so I just press four on my keypad. It kicks off the door. Boom. And it kind of shrugged that off. So I might need to work on that. Anyway, so just wanted to show this off real quick. Didn't want to make a super long video. I've been working on this all night and it's 7 in the morning. So maybe later. Uh, so yeah, until next time.